This is John Thomas, the Mad Hedge Fund Trader, broadcasting to you live from the safety of Incline Village, Nevada, on the north shore of Lake Tahoe. Uh, there is a light snow falling right now, believe it or not, in um, northern Nevada. Unusual for this time of the year, but we'll take any water we can get. Uh, today, you're going to be joining me uh, to talk about the buying opportunity of the century, which uh, is imminently approaching. And let me tell you about that, why. But before you spend the next hour with me, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I have 50 years of experience in the global financial markets, uh, 10 years as the economist correspondent in Japan and later the White House, 10 years running the International Equity Division at Morgan Stanley, a little brief time out as a Marine Corps combat pilot in Desert Storm, uh, 10 years running the first international dedicated hedge fund, five years fracking for natural gas in Texas. And I still have oil under my fingernails from that one. Now 13 years publishing the Diary of a Matt Hedge Fund Trader. I am one of a handful of founders of the modern hedge fund industry who are still breathing. Uh, I'm also the crash doctor. The crash doctor is in. I have traded all of the crashes of the last 50 years, and believe me, I have the scars to prove it. That includes the 1973 oil crash, down 45%, the 87 crash, down 20% in one day. That's when the tape was running two hours late. The 1990 Tokyo crash eventually fell 85%, short selling opportunity of the century the 2000 dot-com crash where a lot of the lead stocks either went to 90% or zero down. Uh, of course, the Great Recession, we all remember, down 51%. And now we have the Great Corona crash, down 37% so far, only if the last uh, low holds. <coughs> My family origins are very humble. I grew up as the oldest of seven children on a remote farm in southern California. I lived an all-American childhood, playing Little League Baseball and becoming an Eagle Scout. Uh, that's what Eagle Scouts looked like in those days, believe it or not. Uh, there wasn't much to do in the old days in California except go hunting, so I picked up a job as a paper boy for the Los Angeles Herald Examiner. One of the first papers I delivered was covering the Kennedy assassination in 1963. I found the stock pages, bought IBM at 20 and sold it at 30 suddenly found a far better way to make money than delivering newspapers off the back of a bicycle. By the time I was 16, I earned enough money to fly to Europe, which cost a fortune in those days. By the age of 17, I'd visited more than 50 countries and spoke four languages. And that's me hitchhiking in Southern France, noticed no cars. That's because the French standard of living was still recovering from World War II and most people couldn't afford cars. I was a lot skinnier in those days though. Uh, at UCLA, I majored in math and DNA research, which lent me a job at the nuclear test site in Nevada, right next door. Their yield didn't need interest paid, but millions of Russians killed. I didn't see much of a future in that, so the government sent me to Southeast Asia for a few years of research, they called it, where I learned how to fly and jump out of perfectly good airplanes. There I advised the militaries of America's Asian allies. Uh, in those days, research meant carrying a 45 caliber uh, Sten gun left over from World War II, which weighed an absolute ton and used to reliably jam on every six shot. After 10 years of government service, I ended up with a box of medals. There's my pilot's wings. Uh, and uh, I bring them out once a year on uh, Memorial Day, which is next Monday. As the war wound down, I became a foreign correspondent for The Economist magazine in London. When they learned I had a math degree, they switched me over to covering the Asian economy and the stock market. Ta-da! Enter the stock market. As a foreign correspondent, I covered China during the Cultural Revolution. I was the first American reporter to visit North Korea since the Korean War. That's me on the uh, UN side of the border. Uh, and covered the rest of the continent all the way to India. I uh, figured out very quickly, you didn't have to be that smart to make money in the stock market. Otherwise, Wall Street would have run out of smart, smart people a long time ago. So I got into the industry, joining Morgan Stanley, 
After 10 years there, I started my own hedge fund. And I can see my ID card, the years have been cruel. And that's me uh, losing the All Japan National Karate Championships. Uh, warning, do not enter a match with a broken wrist, which is what I did. But I did want to make it to the finals at all costs. I rapidly became the top performing hedge fund manager of the 1990s. Uh, eventually bringing in a 1,000% return in a decade. And when I started, there were only 115 hedge funds. There are now more than 10,000. Uh, then the money really started to pour in. It's an understatement to say that when your income goes from the thousands to the tens of millions, it has a huge impact on your lifestyle. You get to do things like buy the hottest new car, fly your own private plane around Europe, go up marlin fishing and collect vintage Rolls Royces. That's my uh, 1925 uh, Rolls Royce Silver Ghost at the Pebble Beach Car Show. I sold my hedge fund in 2000, retired to go into the oil and gas industry. After making a killing there, I missed the stock market and started the Diary of a Mad Hedge Fund Trader in 2008. I now spend my days pursuing my first love finding winning trade alerts, but I now do it from my three mansions in San Francisco with my bay view right there, Lake Tahoe right here, and Zermatt, Switzerland, which I am barred from visiting this year because the town is closed. And I've quit turning millionaires into billionaires. There's far more satisfaction playing, uh, leveling the playing field for the average guy and teaching them how to trade. And that includes you. I can take a $50,000 account and turn it into 500,000. That is far more job satisfaction than I could ever get anywhere else. However, every silver lining has a cloud. This is a page out of my 2018 tax return. It shows I made 10.5 million trading and had to pay 3.8 million in taxes. Yikes, I can only thank God uh, that I can, uh, pay this and not have a dent in my lifestyle. It's, it's a problem I bet you wish you had. In the little free time I have left, I pursue my other love, flying vintage aircraft on weekends. If you see an old plane flying loops over San Francisco or London these days, it's probably me. That's my uh, 1932 de Havilland Tiger Moth, which I keep in England. And that is a 1938 Boeing Stearman. Uh, as a Marine Corps veteran, I volunteer for grief counseling for widows and orphans. Fortunately, we don't have as many of those as we used to. And I'm a major donor to wounded warriors. When the wildfires hit California, I visited the main evacuation centers and handed out $10,000 worth of Target gift cards, which are as good as money. Uh, that's for me visiting my relative's house, completely burned to the ground. You can see there's a SIF box there. They were looking for a wedding ring, which they uh, eventually found. And that was all that was left of their dinner set. It survived because it was already fired. So what's the smart money doing right now? They're using capitulation days to buy uh, high quality stocks and two year leaps or long term options on those stocks. They're selling short bonds. They're avoiding energy commodities and foreign exchange because uh, they are either untradeable or dead in the water. They're hedging out downside risk with put options, defensive sectors, and bear ETFs, and they're buying gold on dips for an additional hedge. There is a method to my madness. As long as markets are bracketed, trading inside of a narrow range, you want to buy every dip and sell every rally. Stocks are now wildly overpriced, counting off heavily on a free put from the Fed, which is working, uh, limiting our downside. Markets could remain bracketed for another three to six months or until a vaccine is discovered. And warning, announcements of new vaccines are gonna come out almost every day for the rest of the year, whether they have one or not. Head and shoulders top is in for bonds. That makes it one of the best shorts of the century. Big fears for a second larger corona spike in fall. Gold is taking a run at uh, all time highs and may make it in the next month or two. Volatility is backed off from 80 all the way down to 26. So it could be a sleepy summer. Best buying opportunity of the decade is <coughs> setting up uh, the next big dip is the one you buy. And if you're looking, uh, if you're wondering why I'm in such a good mood in that picture, it's because I'm flying a P51 Mustang. 
if you don't know what that is, uh, that is my friend Geraldine, uh, a World War II fighter plane with a 2,000 horsepower engine. Uh, fabulous plane to fly, incredible power. Uh, did I mention I fly vintage aircraft? I've, I've flown over 50 of them by now. Uh, global economy, the Great Depression is deepening the, uh, with 36 million unemployed in two months, and the Fed is targeting a peak of 52 million. Uh, that is one out of three Americans will be out of work within the next month or two. We have another trade war with China that's heating up, with the president banning more export items, especially trips for telecom giant Huawei. House and the Fed are pushing for another three trillion stimulus package on top of the six trillion we've already got. Huge V recovery in the stock market is fading in the face of an onslaught of horrific economic data. Fed Governor Powell war warns that the worst is yet to come for the economy and the need for more stimulus is paramount. U.S. food distribution system is breaking down with prices up 20%, shortages everywhere, and one out of three children now short of food. Uh, there's our weekly jobless claims, uh, and uh, you can expect to lose about three million a week. We have another big data point coming out this week until we hit peak uh, un unemployment levels, which will far exceed those seen during the Great Depression in the 1930s. A little quick update on the coronavirus. I do have a background in virology, kind of coming in handy right now, being a hedge fund manager and a virus expert. Uh, I got it with that uh, DNA major or a biochem major at UCLA. U.S. cases have topped 1.5 million deaths at 90,000. And a second wave is hitting Asia right now. So we could get our second wave in two or three months. New CDC forecasts forecast 200,000 deaths by August or 2,500 a day with the epidemic spreading into the Midwest from the coast where it started. Early opening states in the Midwest are setting up a second wave now. Death rates in New York are falling to down to only 150 a day from nearly 1,000. Any concentration of people anywhere creates hotspots like meatpacking plants and prisons. All the president's scientific advisors say early reopening will lead to another super spike. We may need masks in public for years or until uh, there's a vaccine. The best hope for now is a serum from someone who's already been infected. True vaccine is years off or never. Uh, notice that there is no flu vaccine. And we've been getting the flu for forever. Uh, all they can do is have a flu shot, which will reduce your chances of getting the flu by about half. Uh, the historic antidote. Government has already implemented the greatest economic stimulus in history. Uh, Fed has unleashed the greatest QE in history, increasing all of the global QE of the past decade by 50% uh, in one shot. When people are come out of the lockdown, they'll engage in the greatest spending binge in history. Most consumption it hasn't been lost, it's just deferred. If you didn't buy a new car this year, you'll probably buy one next year with zero interest rates, uh, or a house, or a capital good, you know, anything. Uh, last crash leaders of the 0809 crash, who did horribly, they're now doing great. That's because of Dodd-Frank, which is saving the banking system, and housing because no one can sell. You know, and we still have a massive demographic tailwind behind housing now that the millennials are in home buying mode. This will create the strongest economic growth in history starting in the second half, and I'm talking about up 10, up 15% quarters. Stocks will rocket sooner, but may not, may not hit all time highs for years. Don't sell anything now, most of the damage has already been done. You're only looking at buying opportunities from here on. Worst stocks will be down 90%, like cruise lines and airlines, so there's no good short plays left. Uh, stocks are bracketed for the time being. Uh, stocks are stuck in a 2,000 point range with falling volatility, and a head and shoulders top is on the table. Stocks are still the most expensive in market history with earnings in free fall, and whole industries disappearing like the retailers. Market veterans are calling for the worst risk reward for stocks ever seen, and I agree with that. Tech has had a great run, 
uh, but now appears uh, running out of steam. Uh, on the next dip, scale into those two-year leaps in your favorite big tech names. Just put in low bids under the market and also buy biotech. Bottom line, the next big dip for a massive recovery uh, starting in the fall. By the way, that's a marine mortar crew, 60 millimeter mortar, uh, which is where the bracketing term comes from. Uh, so let's get into charts. Uh, and when you see these blue boxes, uh, that's a call made by our in-house uh, proprietary trading algorithm. We call it the Mad Hitch Market Timing Index. Uh, and it is saying that we continue in this sideways range for anywhere from three to six months. And if we do get a breakdown, we're not going to go any lower than 2,500 in the S&P, which is about here. And that would set up a really nice uh, head and shoulders bottom for the entire market. After that, we could take off for new highs. We could hit it by the end of this year or May or sometime next year. Uh, NASDAQ, uh, also looking fantastic. I just see a modest pullback at best. You want to buy that dip. Uh, we're targeting 10,000 in NASDAQ by the end of the year. You had, we had earlier buy signals here, a sell at the top in February, uh, and another buy down at the March bottom. Uh, it's not, nothing better than having a, an algorithm like this. It creates a tr fantastic trading discipline. <coughs> uh, Microsoft, we're expecting a new how on their takeover of the cloud business from Amazon and blowout earnings. Looking for $200 a share there, looking for a small dip to the bottom end of the range and then new highs after that. You can see we got out also uh, at the, uh, uh, around February, and of course, we've been running buys on Microsoft uh, ever since it was $10 a share back in 2009. Uh, Apple, uh, we're targeting $400 a share in Apple. You can see our algorithm gave us buys here, buys there. We got out at the top here, looking to buy the next dip for all new all-time highs. And you'll see pretty much all of these charts are the same, giving the same kind of signals at the same time. Uh, those are called confirming biases. Uh, Amazon, we think this is a $2,500 stock at least, probably $3,000 longer term. Uh, had a buy back here. And you know, the, we also got this at $10 in, in uh, 2009. So, and got it for $1,000 uh, a little more than a year ago. So, been buying the dips all along, selling the massive rallies, uh, looking for a new breakout here. So we're gonna be buying any dips, even small ones, 5% or so. Uh, PayPal, another big FinTech star, making fortunes off of the huge surge of online business that came with the epidemic. Uh, got out in February, bought the bottom in March. Uh, and the people who bought the leaps that I recommended, the long-term option plays, got returns of 500% off of a a uh, 70% move in the stock. So that shows you the kind of upside leverage that is uh, available with some of these strategies. Looking to buy the next dip, targeting 150. Uh, NVIDIA, one of our favorite stocks. I've been recommending it since it was in the 50s. Uh, we've been buying every dip. Uh, huge volatility in the semi space. We play all the big names. Buy here, buy here. Uh, holding on here, looking to buy the next dip targeting $400 a share. Uh, and they are the great uh, video game and artificial intelligence graphic card maker. Uh, Salesforce also hugely benefiting from the move to online business. Uh, their staff are working 16 hours a day, six days a week, just to accommodate the flood of new orders. Uh, again, we're targeting $250 a share on this one. Uh, after buying the March bottom. Uh, Boeing has been a disaster. Uh, we did take a small loss on the way down. <coughs> By the way, I stop out of losers very quickly, usually with a 1% or 2% loss. Uh, I'm too old to lose all my money and start all over again, and I bet you are too. Uh, but we are setting up for some kind of recovery. If one company has to be saved in the United States, it's going to be Boeing. Uh, so I'm looking for a possible double bottom here right around, um, uh, oh, I got the wrong chart up here. 
Anyway, let's look to buy Boeing the next time it revisits the 90s. Uh, we're targeting 300. The next to happen is the uh, recertification of the 737 MAX. Uh, Walt Disney, uh, perfect storm. All of their businesses are shut down. They're not even making movies anymore. Uh, they're just playing replays. Uh, you know, we got out the top. You know, the theme parks, hotels, cruise lines, and movies are all shut down. Only thing that's bringing in money right now is the new uh, Disney Plus service, which is making them the new Netflix. Uh, so they are a recovery stock, you know, by the other side of the epidemic stock. And we did get a nice pop uh, yesterday in the shares. I'd be looking to buy the next dip. We're targeting 200 uh, for Disney by sometime next year. Uh, bonds, uh, you know, if you think stocks are too uh, expensive, you don't want to chase them up here, go to the next asset class, go to the better asset class, the better trade. You know, the great thing about trading stocks, bonds, commodities, foreign exchange, precious metals, energy, and real estate is there's always a great trade out there. There's always something going up. There's always going something down that's as clear as day to see. So uh, we're looking for a, uh, we have a major short position in the bond market right now. Started selling the TLT after it failed at its 180 peak. Uh, got down to 162 this morning. Uh, it is the short selling opportunity of the century. If you've never done a short position for, this is your time to do it. Head and shoulders top is already in there. April budget deficit hit $738 billion. Uh, from the federal government. That works out to an 8.85 trillion annual rate, uh, which is a large multiple of the peak borrowing that we saw in World War II. National debt is soaring from 24 to 32 trillion in 18 months, could hit 40 trillion by the time all the refundings are counted in. Uh, Fed futures are discounting negative interest rates in a year, setting up a very steep yield curve. By the way, that means you wanna be buying banks down here also. Uh, with overnights at zero, you could get treasuries going all the way back up to 3% uh, because of the huge issuance and oversupply coming out of the federal government. They can control overnight rates. They have almost no control over treasury. So uh, we're looking for a big move in the longer end of the treasury bond market. Uh, TLT could plunge from the 180 peak in uh, March all the way down to 105, taking long rates from 31 basis points, the March low, all the way up to 3.25%. That is a tremendous short, something that's about to drop by 40%. Trump threatening default on the Treasury bond market is throwing gasoline on the fire. Sell short every mount major rally in the TLT. And this is what it looks like. We played the TLT for, from the long side for the better part of 30 years <laughs> because it was in a bull market for 30 years. So we were looking to buy dips. Uh, however, when we hit that 180, that was 31 basis points. We played on the short side. Uh, we're now playing on the short side again. And we've been selling aggressively. We've had about half of our portfolio in a short bond uh, position ever since we hit this last peak at 171, got down to 162, uh, making a lot of money, and we're down to 162 again today. We are eventually targeting 105. That makes it one of the best uh, short opportunities ever seen anywhere in any market. Uh, well, you could have shorted the Lehman Brothers stock in a way, but uh, that went to zero. Uh, here's your yield. Uh, we're right now at 73 basis points. We're targeting 325, so we're picking a longer term interest rates to rocket. Uh, foreign currencies, we are staying out of this market. No volatility, going sideways, flatlining, no trading opportunities, but lots of risk. <laughs> you know, no matter what position you take, a long or short, you're running a big risk if you get a gap move the other way. There was a global flight to safety going on in February and March. That had stopped. Uh, it stopped the money pouring into the dollar. Interest rate support with the U.S. dollar is now gone for good. You know, overnight rates have gone down 200 basis points this year. So no more interest rate support for the buck. Euro stabilized at a three-year low, just above parity. British pound is holding on to their big gains. Uh, Bitcoin hit $10,000 on a supply restriction and minor payout cut, but I wouldn't 
chase it. In fact, we don't trade Bitcoin at all. If you're looking for any brilliance on uh, Bitcoin, you're not going to find it here. And you're really not going to find it anywhere. Nobody knows why that thing moves, whether it's up, down, or sideways. The only people who make money there are the miners. It's kind of like being in California. You know, During the gold rush, all the money was uh, made selling shovels and blue jeans to the miners. Uh, Aussie dollar had a nice big 20% rally, and I'll show you why in a sec. Uh, so I'd be selling any dollar rallies from here, uh, but it's not a prime trade right now. You're better off trading bonds first than stocks. Uh, here's the UUP. It's a basket of foreign currencies. Sell of the century was right up there. Since then, we've gone almost nowhere. Eventually, we're looking for a breakdown, but not yet. Australian dollar, I've got a 10-year uh, chart up, or actually 12-year chart up here. And we have a major double bottom, which happened right here and right here in 2009. Uh, the, it really is a double bottom down to 50. The difference over 10 years is the management fees and cost of carry over a currency position. Since then, we rallied 20% off the rally. We expect the Aussie eventually to go to one to one to the US dollar. If you're Australian, don't pay for that summer vacation now, wait. Uh, it's about to get 40% cheaper. That is what's gonna happen. Uh, and of course, Aussie will be driven by a major recovery in the global economy starting in the second half of this year, which leads to a big increase in commodity prices, which are their major exports, and a recovery of tourism, which is also a major factor in the Australian economy. I hear they opened the uh, pubs in Australia just last weekend. That has to be a bullish sign for the Australian dollar. Uh, energy. Uh, when it was 80, we predicted it would go to 10 in 10 years. Boy, was I an idiot. It went to negative 36 in three months. So people must think I know nothing about the energy industry. Uh, in fact, it's been a complete disaster. Been having a going out of business sale for really eight years now. Uh, short covering has taken it up to uh, 31, I think I saw this morning. Uh, production cuts are only happening at 1 mil, million barrels at a time to cover a 35 million barrel supply demand gap. And the latest data is they've actually shrunk that uh, gap from 35 million to 20 million. It's still a gigantic gap. So uh, I wouldn't be chasing this rally in energy or energy stocks up here. Demand is increasing slightly as states open up, but not by very much. Most airlines are still on the ground. Uh, maybe half of all the listed energy names uh, will go bankrupt in 2020. Not a pretty picture. The price spike will be temporary as oversupply against fading demand is structural and will last forever. Uh, avoid all energy plays like the plague. Uh, could drop by half in the coming recession depression. Uh, here is a 12-year chart in oil, and we have been playing this from the short side uh, since 2014. Uh, sold here, sold here, sold here. Uh, we were targeting $10. We actually got negative 36. Uh, of course, the energy industry hates me. They say I'm wrong, but... I didn't, when I called them when it hit negative 36, no one returned my phone call because they were all out of business. Uh, so anyway, yeah, leave this for the professionals. Here the insiders have more advantages than uh, most other markets. And even in the energy industry, no one has any clue what's going to happen. Certainly three months ago, no one was saying it was going to go to negative 36. Uh, precious metals, one of our favorite areas to play around in. Uh, we're making another run at the highs. Portfolio hedging demand piles on top of central bank buying, creating a big gold shortage. Uh, new QE infinity is sparking a massive rally. Weak outlet for the US dollar is another positive for gold. Uh, central banks are still pouring into gold every month. Coin dealers are running out of gold American eagles. Buy every dip and gold and precious metals you can. Uh, don't expect to get much follow on from silver uh, or palladium or platinum though. This is a central bank play and a monetary play. 
That does not apply to the other industrial metals. Uh, and that's me in Istanbul, Turkey last summer doing some early Christmas shopping. Good thing I did it because I'm not going to be able to go back this year. I do tend to get around a lot. Uh, so we're looking for the upside breakout, the end of the seven year bear market. That's actually been happening for two years now. We bought it here, we bought it here, uh, and uh, got the ETF GLD up to 163. We're targeting uh, $1,920 an ounce, which is the old high, up 12.8% from here. After that, gold could go. Once we break out, it'll be a massive breakout from a eight year bear market chart and we uh, go to 3,000 or maybe even 5,000. They're really gonna go nuts on gold, just like they did in uh, 1979, where I was in South Africa selling every Kruger Rand I had. Uh, if you like gold, you gotta like gold miners. Uh, new highs here. We've been buying the dips all along on this one. Uh, Barrick Gold, uh, if you like gold miners, you want the biggest gold miner in the world. Uh, this is more than doubled off the March bottom, going to new highs. Uh, we played it on the long side here, here, and uh, we expect to get another double out of Barrick eventually. Uh, okay, there is one other radical extreme investment opportunity you should be considering. Uh, it's where the future lies. It's an investment sector of just one company. Tesla's total cumulative production has already surpassed 1 million. Battery costs have dropped by 80% uh, over the last 10 years and will fall by another 80% uh, over the next 10. Electric cars are about to become massively cheaper than conventional combustion engine cars. Remember, electric cars don't uh, need any maintenance. Uh, and have 80% fewer moving parts than an old fashioned type car. Go to a Tesla dealer and ask for a tune up, they'll tell you to get the hell out of there. Believe me, I tried it and I couldn't believe it. Uh, they've opened their second factory in Shanghai. Uh, that will add uh, their annual production to 550,000 a year. There's another gigafactory, battery factory under construction uh, in Germany, just east of Berlin. and. Uh, so far, they've uncovered 12 bombs left over from World War II because it was an industrial site back in the war. Uh, electric cars have risen from 0% 10 years ago to 4% in the market today. It will soar to 100% in 20 years. Tesla's already outselling all premium car brands in the U.S. combined, including Mercedes, BMW, Audi, Jaguar, and has a 10-year head start. Uh, end of the year, they bring out their Model Y small SUV. It's expected to be their biggest seller ever. And the big mistake people make is to think of Tesla as a uh, da, 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 is um, I'm just trying to mark, watch the market here. One of you have to send out a trailer uh, to do something while I'm talking. Uh, yeah, the big mistake is to call Tesla a car company. It's really a software company. Their real value is the uh, hundreds of billions of miles worth of data they have collected over the last 12 years from their existing car fleet. That allows them a huge advantage in designing uh, future cars, um, future marketing efforts, uh, and improvement of the entire existing car fleet. When, uh, the, um, uh, when you get a car, they give you a fixed range of like, you know, 250 miles was the first car I bought. And they warn you it may drop 10 miles a year. In actual fact, it increased by 10 miles a year for five years because of software improvements. You know, imagine buying a car from GM or Ford and it keeps improving itself every month. You get monthly software updates, uh, even years after you bought it. Uh, many countries in US states have banned internal combustion engine by 2030 or 2040, actually, most have by now. Uh, Tesla will become the world's largest car company within a decade, causing the shares to rise tenfold. And granted, Elon Musk is a bit of a nut job. I've known him for a long time, but you can't argue with his results. I've been uh, following him since uh, he wrote the early code for PayPal. 
so here's the chart that promises how to trade test slide. I mean, you have two diametrically groups, opposed groups of people. Once you love Tesla, it's a cult stock. The other ones who hate it, who will be selling short all the way up. And these people have been selling short from $16.50 when I first bought it after the IPO blew up, uh, all the way up to just under a thousand. So uh, our last buy in Tesla was down here. You just you know, have to let the market tell you what to do, but it has a horrific sell-off like this. You close your eyes and buy. Uh, the people who bought the options on this, uh, the long-term options made a 1000% return in six months. That's a tenfold increase in your money in six months. So we bought it down here. Um, so what do you do next? Wait for another big sell-off for whatever reason. But eventually we are going to 2,500 a share or more by 2025 when it becomes the world's biggest car company. It's already the second largest car company in the world on a market cap basis, just behind Toyota Motors. I would expect this to become the largest car company uh, in the world probably by the end of this year. So uh, yeah, fantastic trader, um, huge returns. We've got you know one uh, 10 bagger out of this and I'm expecting another. Uh, this is my latest Tesla. Uh, that's the Model X High Performance, $162,000, fully tricked out with the ludicrous mode. Uh, warning, if you go from zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds, bring air sick bags, you, you lift off the airlines, maybe a couple of towels might be good idea too, uh, if you uh, want to keep that new car smell. Um, if you're not, I'm immune to car sickness because I'm a combat pilot, but your passengers may not be. Uh, so I would be very cautious using that uh, super acceleration that they have. It really is like driving a car 10 years from the future. Oh, and it drives itself, by the way, which can be quite dangerous when you go into a rental car because you sit down and it won't drive itself. <laughs> All of a sudden it starts veering into oncoming traffic. It doesn't stop itself either in front of a uh you know another car so be careful if you go from tesla back to the old cars uh this is my first tesla i bought it in 2009 at the height of the crash uh some back venture capital firm went bust so i got their share in the line it was number 125 off the assembly line but even the best design in the world doesn't protect you from a drunk driver on christmas eve driving a gm Silverado pickup truck. Uh, a lot of people talk about Tesla, very few of them have taken them to pieces. That's what I did, I took it to a shop, find out what made it tick, and here's the 1100 pound lithium ion battery underneath the back seat. In uh, 10 years, that'll be a 100 pound battery that gets you a 350 mile range. And here, in the, you can find carbon fiber wheel wells uh, honeycomb, which make it the safest car in the world. And within five years, the entire car will be made out of carbon fiber, which is 10 times stronger than steel with one tenth the weight. So don't play with matches. You could probably do okay just buying all the stocks I just mentioned and forgetting about them. But for some of you, that may be the best choice. However, the reality is that conditions for these companies change every day. They are all viciously competing with each other, trying to put each other out of business. You don't get daily updates on the fundamentals. Uh, you could easily get wiped out. Even the best companies occasionally will drop in value by half. It's much better to be out of those big drawdowns and get in cheap again than to take all the pain on the way down. Today's big winner could instantly become tomorrow's loser. That's why you need somebody like me to guide you through the thicket and avoid an out of the blue blow up. I gained financial independence for life and so can you. <clears throat> All of this can be yours. Discover how to make thousands of dollars a year in extra income. Go from a complete beginner to a seasoned pro in weeks. Learn how to quit your day job and quit uh, and trade for a living full time. And if you're one of the one out of three, who already has or is about to lose their job, this is how you cover the gap. I mean, this is how you, you make your living uh, until the economy recovers and you get your job back. Uh, I know unemployment insurance is $2,000 a month, 
you can't live on that in California and not many other places either. Trade from anywhere at any time, all you need is a laptop, laptop and a broadband connection. Supplement your retirement income with the satisfaction of booking winning trades by the hundreds. And by the way, since the beginning of March of April, we have issued 90 trade alerts. I've been issuing trade alerts so fast that uh, the ends of my fingers are wearing off. Uh, by the way, that's me uh, trading from a beach in North Africa. Uh, you really can't. I'm struggling to smile because a wind just came off the Sahara Desert and it was 120 degrees. The harsh truth is you really need my help. The majority of individual traders lose money. They lack the correct training and discipline to succeed. Most broker research suffers from grievous conflicts of interest like the new issue business. Wall Street is all about moving money from the uneducated to the educated. The easy solution to that problem is to get educated, be one of those educated uh, people. Fidelity did a 20 year study and learned that their top performing investors were dead people. Why do dead people do so well? They never sell. So uh, unless you wanna become one of the dead people, uh, you actually have to learn how to trade to make profits while you're alive. You need a real pro to guide you through the market maze. The market is not monolithic and 95% of it can be completely ignored. Almost all the action every year is literally in 10 or 15 names. There are a few great sectors out there and a lot of awful ones. You can earn a 10 times return on the great sectors but get wiped out by the losers. Let a 50 year veteran like me steer you to safe waters. Let me sit next to you and guide your hand on every winning trade. Here's our uh, secret weapon. It's our Mad Hedge Profit Predictor, uh, an artificial intelligence driven algorithm that analyzes 30 different economic, technical, and momentum driven indicators all day long. And you can see whenever our indicator gets down below 20, that's buy territory for the market. When it gets above 80, that means go short. And 50 means you just sit on your hands and watch TV. Why do you need an algorithm? Well, why use a toolbox missing its most important tool? Uh, they've become so dominant in the market, you should never trade without one. It does the work of a seasoned 100 man research department in seconds. It runs real time and optimizes returns with the addition of every new data point far faster than any human can. Imagine a trading strategy that upgrades itself 30 times a day. That's what you're competing against. You wonder why you're not making money trading? That is the reason. Don't go to a gunfight with a knife. If you're trading against algos alone, you will lose. Algorithms provide you with a defined systematic trading discipline that will enhance your trading profits. And I'm not the only one using algorithms. I was uh, walking along Miami Beach the, uh, last year and I saw this uh, super yacht and look what it's called. Algorithm, yeah, I'm not the only one. In fact, 80 to 90% of all current trading is algorithm driven. You don't have an algorithm backing you up, you haven't got a chance. Uh, this is three years of buy and sell signals issued by our algorithm. And you can see we get lots of sells at market tops, lots of buys at market bottoms, and several round trips a year. So it is a great trading discipline you have at your hand. Uh, over the last uh, three years, uh, over the last 10 years, uh, the S&P 500, uh, it was up only 100% at the bottom here. Uh, it doubled in 10 years. Uh, with the Mad Hedge uh, Market Timing Index, uh, we have gained 3.6 times the S&P 500 with far less volatility. Uh, an average annualized return of 34.85%. And this is a typical hedge fund type return. Sideways, small down, sideways, small down, sideways, small down, and then up. Always going up, making money in all market conditions. The biggest drawdown we have had in 13 years with this strategy uh, was in February and March, and we were down 12%. And of course, after the 12% drop, we got a 35% recovery in the market, and we are now at all-time highs as I speak. Going to all-time highs almost every day, I might add, 
because we have such a diversified hedge portfolio. So if you want to make 3.6 times the S&P 500 with drawdowns limited to 5%, uh, except for the one in 100 year drawdown, which is now behind us, it'll be another 100 years till we get another drawdown like that, then this is the program for you. Bill was a struggling tobacco farmer in Virginia who wanted to supplement his fading agricultural income. After making 3.4 million with me, he still farms, but he's now growing grapes in California's Napa Valley and selling them to the high-end wineries. Philip was tired of working in the boom and bust of the oil and gas industry in Texas. After doubling his money every year for several years, he now earns a generous living as a full-time trader. Jackie was an Australian hospital administrator who turned a $50,000 account into two million with my help and became a major player in technology stocks. She retired in her 50s and now spends her time cruising around the world, or at least she did until the epidemic hit. She's now holed up with uh, uh, her son in Australia waiting for the epidemic to end so she can go back to uh, her retirement. In the meantime, her kid is driving her nuts, playing video games all day. Uh, so what do we do about all this? Well, stocks, you want to buy the dips. Bonds, you want to sell rallies. Commodities, buy dips or stand aside. Energy, stand aside. Currency, sell every U.S. dollar rally. Precious metals, buy the dips. If you're not at 55.86% like I was last year, uh, you are reading the wrong newsletter or following the wrong trade mentoring service. 48.47% uh, is our trailing one-year return. You can see we've made this massive recovery off a limited bottom, you know, only down 13% from the high or 12%. And we're now back up to new all-time highs again. And basically, we go uh, up like that. Uh, when you get that kind of returns, you get to do things other people do, like take the owner's suite in the Queen Mary from New York to London. At least I will once the epidemic ends again. When you get to London, you get to take the Orient Express from London to Venice. Uh, warning, every dinner is black tie, so you better bring two tuxes if you want to take that trip. And when you get to Venice, you can charter a helicopter and fly island to island. No problem with traffic there. Uh, here's the very long view. This is where the big money will be made. The 2000s and the 2010s were the hard decades for making money. The 2020s and the 2030s will be the easy ones, as a global demographic wave brings on a new golden age. 85 million millennials become big spenders over the next 15 years, while 80 million baby boomers, a drag on the economy, fade from the scene. That will create an economic boom that will last another decade starting next year. Uh, this is what the Dow average did from 1982 to 2000, up 20 times in 18 years. Are you ready for a replay? We went from 600 then to 12,000. Well, if you take that same kind of return, uh, we go up 20 times from the 2009 bottom, that takes us to 120,000 by 2027. And if you think I'm crazy, we're already halfway there. Uh, you know, we've already had uh, one 400% increase off of the uh, last low, and we're just beginning the next 400% increase uh, to the next high. Uh, except this time it's different. We have massive technology benefits that didn't exist in the 1990s. Uh, all major human diseases will be cured in 10 years, including the coronavirus. Um, and we are about to have quantum computers uh, come on the scene, which allow a trillion fold increase in computing power with no increase in cost. So he'll show you how to play the next 95,000 Dow points. Sit with me, John Thomas, and my Global Trading Dispatch. Discover how you can tap into the top performing trade mentoring service in the industry. Uh, follow my research and market beating trade alerts, and you will rake the profits in. Let a marine combat pilot steer you to big profits, and we trade global equities, bonds, foreign exchange, energy, commodities, precious metals, and real estate all on the long and short side. Uh, this is a typical month. Uh, we did 10 out of 11 trade alerts. 
Uh, 10 out of 11 made money. Here we bought the S&P 500, made 16%, sold short treasuries, made 8%, bought the Russell, made 14%. Oops, we stopped out of a long in Biogen. Uh, we stopped out of losers quickly and then made it back up in the next two trades. It's just a matter of time for tech and biostech stocks break out to new all-time highs. Watch this space melt up into the end of 2020. <coughs> Here's how it works. We saw an opportunity to buy Micron technology, expecting a breakout predicted by our algorithm here. So we sent out a trade alert. Buy Micron technology at 42 or best. 10% weighting meant you bought 238 shares. Uh, we got a 15.63% profit in 15 trading days. We sent out another alert. It said take profits. And we, uh, this is what that looked like. Sell Micron technology at 48.58 or best. <clears throat> and we made $1,563 on this in only 15 days. Uh, here's another one of our big winners, NVIDIA, uh, up 267%. LAM Research up 77% in 10 months. Baidu up 2,240%. With my Global Trading Dispatch, you get a daily research newsletter, instant trade alerts set out at market sweet spots, about 200 a year, although this year we'll probably do 300. Live bi weekly strategy webinars, special reports on urgent topics, strategy luncheons around the world, which are now on hold. Uh, educational videos and webinars and access to a 12-year database. I'll even give you the name of a surfing camp in North Africa with a seniors division. Warning, it's harder than it looks. This is what I'm not gonna charge you for this service. I'm not gonna charge you $100,000 a year. That's what I charge my big hedge fund clients. And they're happy to pay because I make them millions of dollars. Uh, I'm not going to charge you uh, $10,000. That's what I charge my high-end concierge clients. I'm not going to charge you $5,000. That's what I charge my high-end options clients. And I'm not even going to charge you $3,000. That's the cheapest price on my website. Not for you. This is the real deal. Creating this product cost me millions of dollars with the best customer service in the industry. Uh, running it cost me millions more. Uh, six months for just $999. That's a 66% discount to the uh, uh, cheapest price on my website. But you can only get that price right now today by clicking on the link on the chat box on the right. Uh, this is a limited time offer. I can only take 25 new subscribers at a time. First come, first serve. I can't wait to make you a top drawer trader. Just click on the chat box on the right. Okay. Let me make the money for you to pay for your uh, subscription. 90% of our followers pay for the service for the entire year on the first trade. You make the trades, discover how an experienced hedge fund manager finds and exploits the best sweet spots in any market. Just click on the chat box on the right. There should be a dedicated link uh, there that'll take you to our sales page. And David, let me know if you don't have the link and I'll send it to you. Uh, six months for just $999. And if you buy now, you receive my Mad Hedge Armageddon portfolio, stocks to buy at the next market bottom and then forget about for the rest of your life. That's what most of you really want. I also send out a trade alert, which you can execute immediately the second you get it with an extremely high probability of success. Make some of the most serious money in your life. Don't leave good money on the table. 90% of these trade alerts make money immediately. And just to give you a little tease, uh, this is the chart for that stock. You have to go through a thousand charts to find one this good. Let me do the heavy lifting for you. Uh, the only thing you don't know, is this a buy or a sell? Uh, buy my service now and you'll find out within about 10 seconds. So that's it. Um, the offer you can't refuse, six months for just $999. Uh, click on the chat box on the right and I'm gonna take some quickie questions here and check my email and see if anybody in has come in yet. 
And the answer is yes. Uh, I see Bill from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, just signed up. Bill, thank you very much. Uh, I look forward to working with you. Uh, we have Mary from Bangor, Maine, just signed up. Uh, thank you, Mary. Um, I will earn, work hard to earn my money. And uh, let's see, yikes. Well, we're gonna hit the 25 uh, li limit in a few minutes. So if you are interested in this, uh, get uh, in your order as fast as you can because we are running out of issues to give you at this uh, one time only 999 price. Okay, we have Robert from San Diego, California. Thank you very much, Robert. Uh, okay, we have, let me open up another one here. Okay, just scrolling through here. Uh, okay, we have another one here for uh, Boyd from Port Moody, British Columbia, Canada. Thank you very much, Boyd. I'm sure you will earn your money back very quickly, if not by the end of the day. Okay, we have uh, Joyce from Chicago, Illinois. Thank you very much, Joyce. And uh, you, it appears you like my presentation, so thank you. Yes, I have had an interesting life, and the best part is that it's only half over. Uh, okay, let's see, who else do we have here? Um, the, uh,